Hi, my name is Luisa. I'm People and Culture Manager at WordPath and I'm glad you decided to tune in to our team podcast. Like always, I'll introduce another team member to you so you can get exclusive insights to our people positions and work environment. Today, I invited Maxi, who works in our finance and operations team. Hi, Luisa. Thanks for having me. So, Maxi, would you like to introduce yourself or your role and what you do at WorkPath briefly? Yeah, sure. So, I'm Maxi. I'm Finance and Operations Manager, part of the Finance and Operations team. And my responsibilities are everything that revolves around money. So, everything from the invoicing process, around all reportings and uh, payments up to the payroll. So, it's a lot of mathematics that you have to do with? Yeah, yeah. Uh, much uh, mathematics, Google Sheets, Excel. So, everything around numbers. Yeah. Great. And who are the people you work with closest? I am working closest to my team members, Yannick and Michael, and then um, the other internal teams like the people team, um, our CEO, Johannes, and of course, the revenue team, sales and customer success. Can you give us some examples where or how you work with the sales and customer success team, for example? Yeah, sure. So it's mainly about internal reporting. So I'm uh, preparing the revenue forecast for our C-level, our leadership team and for that I have to work closely with sales to have accurate data and to also motivate them and push them from time to time. Mm -hmm. And means for you you're mostly responsible for getting stuff from others or is it how does this work? Yeah on the one hand it's getting information, collecting information from different stakeholders in the company and then aggregating them, visualizing and yeah, pushing it out to different stakeholders, internal and external. Mm -hmm. And another question more about you in the company. As you were part of the sales team before, would you like to explain your story at WorkPath a bit? Like tell us a bit about it because I find it really interesting what you, what journey you made here. Yeah, sure. So when I joined WorkPath, uh, we were around 20 employees and I was the third employee in the sales team as working student back then. And together with Alessio, who is sales development representative and Johannes, one of the founders, I built up many processes in the sales team. I built automation in our CRM and I built email journeys. And then uh, once the sales team was was ready to just scale up more, I uh, transitioned into this more general finance and operations role. Yeah, I really like to think back to the time when we met first. I think that was at the university where we were, were advertising WorkPath a bit. And I like how your journey went from that time on. Was there something like, as you have seen, like a lot of uh, people joining the company, for example, something that changed since then or something where you say like, oh, this is how the company developed since then? Yeah, I, I think there are many things or many aspects in which the company developed, in, in which we grew up, you could say. As I said, scalability is uh, one of the important things. We are growing very fast. We are adding uh, new members to the team every month. So keeping our culture in check, keeping our values, I think that's something that we are working on all the time. Mm -hmm. And talking talking about culture and team members, what was your most favorite team experience so far? I think that was our Series A party, our summer party this year. It was the first big party after the long COVID break that we had from the office. So I think in this time, over 30 people started. So we doubled without having met many of the people outside of online meetings and just coming together and celebrating our success was really a great feeling. Mm -hmm. And as I know you a bit now, we also have this one initiative at the company like called the Pride Sessions we have at WorkPath. And I think you were one of the people who initiated that. Would you like to tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so this year during the Pride Month, we decided to have our first Pride meeting. We came together, some people from the company that 
wanted to learn more about LGBTQ pride initiatives, about the history, about the culture and how we can keep a very open, very diverse and yeah, welcoming culture at the company. So people from many different teams, many different backgrounds came together. Of course, not only LGBTQs, also just people that were interested. And I think that really shows how we come together and learn from each other at the company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really, really like this initiative too and really happy uh, to be part of it too. And I think it's a good sign for company if we can push things like that and yeah, looking forward to go further with that. And yeah, my, my last question um, would be if you think about people who should join WorkPath and we say like, okay, that would make it Yeah, or makes it interesting also for them to join. What would it be like? What would be the thing that is most interesting about our team, about our company and who should join WordPath? Yeah, so the, the thing that is most interesting, I think that's our uplifting culture where we are uplifting towards each other and helping each other grow. And people who should join WorkPath, I think that's mainly, that that's basically everyone that likes to direct the energy into a joint dream and that wants to make something happen. Thank you very much. I think this is a great conclusion and last word uh, for this podcast. And uh, yeah, thank you very much and keep up the good work. Yeah, thanks for having me, Luisa. Mm -hmm.